Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When Dylan and I were trying to get the Airs of the Dog podcast off the ground, we had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps I like to listen to? How do I make money from my podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to your podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. As the Dog uses Anchor by being able to reach out to other MMA fighters and combat sports athletes that may be training across the world or across the country. Um, You can invite guests to your show as long as they have the Anchor app access to a microphone and uh, it's as simple as just inviting them as long as they're in your contacts so if you've always wanted to start a podcast make money doing it go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using anchor that's anchor.fm slash start can't wait to hear your podcast peace Is it? It's the heirs of the dog, baby. Fucking episode 17. What is up, folks? It's your host with your co-host, Johnny O'Neill and Dylan Newbro. What's up, homie? Chilling. Yep. Good to see you, bro. Hanging out. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Glad you I came over like today. We, are we six feet apart? Yeah. Put your, no, I made sure. Dress, dress Don't right, worry. dress. Dress. There we go. See? Safe. Makes things easier. Yeah. We didn't just pass a joint back and forth. No, no, no. No. By the way, we're sponsored by New View Pharma. Ooh. I opened a Mountain Dew at the same time as you said that, so go ahead and try it again. New View Pharma. New View Pharma. Ah. Yeah, it's a Pueblo Crawl. I just made that up on the fly. Did you Colorado like it? Springs, Colorado. That was pretty dope. Trinidad. Ooh. Colorado. Yeah, and the med shop in Colorado Springs. I said that. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm high. No worries. What are we smoking on today, buddy? I just hit their little Sphinx Ooh. wax. Sphinx wax. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. I'm Always uh, a go-to, to be honest. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a top five right now for me. I like your, it's on your Rushmore? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is there only, is there five heads on Mount Rushmore? Couldn't tell you. I've been there. You have? Mm-hmm. No, I Once, haven't. As a child. I've seen a lot of postcards of it. Washington. Yeah. Lincoln. Yeah. Roosevelt. Sure. Jefferson. Maybe. Yeah. I think there's two more. Um, what are they, Hamilton? Or there's one more. Maybe. Uh, James <clears throat> if you Madison. told me, I honestly don't think I know. It's not Madison. James It's Madison. not something I think That's about. That's an ugly mug to put on a mountain for me. Uh, it's Madison? always George Washington. I mean, let's get real. He had the dope hair. He did. And the, and the dope teeth. teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that I would not personally want wooden teeth, but hey, that's it, just me. If you had to go, you'd go teethless? Toothless. Without tooth? Without tooth, yes. Indeed. Indubitably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. That was, <laughs> how, was your, how was your Baja Blast? Oh, dude, I missed it. I tell you what, it's better in a can. Like everything, in my opinion. Really? You think everything's better in a can? No, I take that back. Cause I like whiskey in a bottle. Yeah, I've never had whiskey in a can, though, have you? Yeah, they have those little freaking, like, stupid fucking mixed drink things. You know what I'm talking about? Like the Jack Daniel. Uh, just shooters? No, they're like wine coolers. 
They're almost like malt liquor drinks, but they're Jack Daniels brand. Are you talking about? Have you seen those little little ornaments like ball? Yeah, buzz balls. There you go. They're like at the checkout. Yeah. Free plug. Not that we don't need sponsors. Hey, buzz balls, buzz hit us ball. up. <laughs> buzz ball. I think honestly, I've got them once, and that was with you that yep. one time. Yep. Uh, I think it was like the bachelor party because I wanted a pregame before we headed up to the fucking cabin. Yeah, they're good. They were fun. Yeah, it was like the margarita ones. They were good. They were kind of taste like Baja Blast. <laughs> but, but beer, beer, beer in a can. <laughs> yes, beer, beer in a can, can over bottle. Over a glass day. bottle. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Oh, you can you glass bottles get dangerous when you get drunk. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm I'm talking taste. Doesn't it, matter. Fountain soda tastes different than aluminum can, one hundred percent. Yeah, I feel like it's got it's like a fine wine. It's marinated with the metal. You Maybe. Know? Yeah. It's can, got it's got the that, memories like, of it being recycled. <laughs> yeah, it's had many many days in the sun. Oh. Or many many days in the shadows of a warehouse. So it's like you know, it's like Batman and studied years and years in the caves to become the greatest fucking soda ever to be sodas. That's your number one? Yeah, the detective of what is the what is Batman's the Cape Crusader mm-hmm. of sodas? Baja Blast Mountain Dew in a can. Wow. <clears throat> fucking make it. That's a bold statement. That's an ad right there, bro. It's pretty I could watch Super Bowl and see that. Yeah. I think I think I'm good for the Mountain Dew brand. I think you are too. I think we both are. I think we could be the new spokes piece pe- people peasants? Spoke peasants. Speak peasants. Speak person. Speak people. Oh. <clears throat> we speak, speak people. people. We're yeah. the new speak people. Hey, what's up? We're your new spokes people. That's actually a term. Yeah, that's Sorry. a girl thing. Yeah. All right, so we got some cool stories that I just have written down right here we're going to get to, but um, I'm just going to say I'm off the cuff. You probably haven't even remembered them, and neither have I. And looking at them, I'm kind of laughing. Indian money. I remembered. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm on the I'm on the tr- similar track, I, and, and it's exciting that we're doing this because, you know, we'll forget, and then we'll see it again, and we'll get, you know, excited for it when we're, we eventually get into the first story. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I it's do. just a great time overall. Thank you, New View Pharma. Right? Oh, okay. Let's do what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, we have, uh, army ace and, uh, that one's going to be, uh, <laughs> comical nonetheless. And then we have a, a little sub note right here, uh, 99.80. And I'm just going to leave that up for you to guess and us to inform you later on. And once again, <laughs> thank you, Nivu you pharma. Um, we also want to give a shout out to, um, our other, distribution friends and network, uh, yeah. network of sports podcasters rtf sports network um we are live on their network at eight to nine every wednesday night p.m if you are on military time that is 20 hundred hours people um so yeah Thank you to them. We are uh, very blessed and excited to uh, get involved with all of their events and uh, online haberdashery. 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 <laughs> yeah, I like to throw it back to the you know the 1900s. Yeah. Okay. Every once in a while, is that uh, that's a 1900s term? Could be. I mean, 1900 is a pretty bo- broad spectrum of years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was in 1900s. That could have been 1999, for all I fucking. Oh, can. you know what? I that does remind me though of something I have been watching what? recently. What did you watch? No, I've been watching um, on Prime, dude. They'll have Prime kicks ass when it comes to educational stuff, like it's, documentaries. Oh, yes. Okay. Dude, Prime kicks ass. Wow. Even just the free shit, free Prime. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or the just the included with Prime stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Like, you don't have to pay to rent it or buy it. Exactly. You it's just included with your subscription. So, it's uh, American in Color, I think it's called. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wasn't that uh, World War II uh, 
HD and recolored that, is I, on Netflix right on now. On Netflix, yeah. I've been watching that. Oh, That's dude, that really one good. kicks ass. Yeah, yeah that one kicks Get, ass for real. Smoking a nice fucking indica and watching stuff like that. Oh. Or, or listen, dude, I, I, once again, if you haven't listened to the last episode of our podcast, I would – it just my own personal opinion. That was probably one of my favorite podcasts, just us vibing and talking about music and creating and just the whole – I don't know. Timing of everything was awesome. I don't know. I just the Back to the Future thumbnail, all of it's just very fucking um, parallel with what was going on with you know our lives at the time. So it was yeah. pretty cool. But anyway, you were talking about the America in Color. You said it starts off when the first episode is nineteen twenty in the nineteen twenties. Yeah, and then it goes all the way up to the Great Depression, right? Happening in twenty nine. I don't know. Yeah, and then boom, next episode. Oh, is. each episode is like a decade? Yes. That's sweet. So yes. How long are the episodes? I want to say an hour probably. Okay. Yeah. I feel like watching too long of a documentary, I get lost pretty quick. Because usually I try to watch documentaries at night. It definitely depends what it is. I just, I really like American history. Me too. I'm getting I'm, into American history a lot. I want to watch more Pearl Harbor. And like, oh, fuck yeah. I Pearl love, Harbor is cool. I have Vietnam. Like, mm-hmm. I really want to see more Vietnam documentaries. I don't know enough about it to really like, I don't know. Like, I know enough about it, like, historically, but, like, you know, there's so much film of, like, just their first person accounts, you know? It's cool. Yeah. I want to see that stuff because n- I've never seen that kind of. Uh, I want to say Netflix has a, a lot of Ken Burns documentaries. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I know that I, I know that there is, it's out there because I know. I think his Vietnam one, maybe his Civil War. Oh, really? Yeah. How long was he a, a war? Like filmographer, like, no, he just doesn't shit out of documentary. Oh, he just he doesn't actually acquire the like film. He wasn't doing it himself. No, how old is he? Maybe no, I don't think I don't know. Because that's I mean that's pretty much a spectrum of time that somebody could serve. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I mean, you could have been alive. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, I I definitely I'm enjoying the Disney Plus documentaries right now really yeah the um national geographic stuff is all on Disney oh Plus. yeah 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 so th- they have like elephants is on there the new bear grills stuff is on there uh gordon ramsay has a his own freaking i think it's like uncharted with gordon ramsay he's like traveling across the whole fucking world and doing different t- kinds of cuisines for different types of like cultures and backgrounds for them and seeing if they like it dude that's that's the dream. To fucking travel and eat or cook. Yeah. That a show. You know what I'm saying? That would be awesome. Sorry, I had travel to show. another drink of my Baja Blast. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I got dry mouth, dude. I'm sorry. It's uh, okay. Sometimes. Not now. But it's okay sometimes. But yeah, those... Uh, those have been really good. Um, they, there's also, I don't know how much you are into Disney, but. No. No. Emily no. and I watched Toy Story 4 the other day. It was really good. I enjoy those just because we grew up fucking watching them. I don't know if you did, but. Yeah. I definitely did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like it was like, I enjoyed them. I knew they were, they were like kids movies. You know what I'm saying? When you were growing up. But yeah. But you still like enjoyed them. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember your first scary movie? 13 Ghosts. No shit. Yeah, it scared the fuck out of me, bro. Gave me nightmares Where for a long time. Where were you? My dad's house. Whoa. But it was my... That's a scary movie. Yeah, bro. It's still probably one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Yeah? As far as like gore and overall like visual effects and just over, just creepy shit. Like, that, that was a scary movie, bro. And it was a real, it was a realistic theme. You know what I'm saying? That's the Somewhere. one where they're in a house. Yeah, and they're all they're like in the contrapment, and each fucking room is a fucking different ghost. There's a different ghost, and yeah. there's the one guy who's got the fucking neck. Yep, and he's got the fucking uh, cage nails. on his head. Yep, and the dude with the nails all in his fucking head, <clears throat> and then the fucking old lady in the Hellraiser. bathtub. Yeah, Hellraiser's yeah. in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's. Uh, Bro, it's a scary fucking movie. I was in my. What was your first scary movie? Uh, the Faculty. I don't have any think I've seen it. Seen With that. Elijah Wood. Uh uh-uh. uh. 
Dude, we'll have to find it. It's a fucking great movie. Wow. Um, that scared the fuck out of me. We were talking about scary ooh, movies and it was a witch. Screaming. Witch. It was a witch. <clears throat> Jeremy's been talking about he's he wakes up with scratches on his arms. Oh. Well. Does he do you think he scratches himself? Yeah. And I Yep. I think maybe. I think Jeremy scratches himself. <laughs> <laughs> A whole lot of Baja up in there, baby. What were you talking about? Um, Jeremy itching himself. Right before that. Scary movie. 13th, The Faculty. The Faculty is yes. about um, aliens that take over this high school first. They're trying to take over the world, but they land at this high school. Okay. And <clears throat> they dig into your ears. Oh, no. Right? There's <clears throat> crazy scenes. Crazy, crazy scenes. But I remember mm. I was – I don't remember how old I was, but it was me and a couple buddies – we were young, probably fucking like <clears throat> eight or nine. Really? Yeah, yeah. And these <laughs> older dudes who were probably like 15, 16, yeah. you know, who, you know, we, we grew up wrestling with them and we, we would grow up wrestling with them anyway, like yeah. still. They were just homies. Like, like, yeah, they were all out camping. In your camping. town, yeah. Yeah, well, we were all out camping somehow. Yeah. Like, we, I wasn't even there camping. I was just kind of fucking there. Like, I think my parents showed up and I <laughs> fucking, you know, to drink with them and then they were going to fucking... Yeah. We were going to bail, go home. Because mm-hmm. it's probably right down the road or something. So, and I remember we're in this fucking uh, camper. Just just the fucking boys, right? Mm-hmm. And that was probably like my first, the, easily the first time I've ever seen any of that shit like, like that. Yeah. It's like, the first scene is this. is the PE coach trying to get in to the, he's been taken over trying to get in and the principal's like fuck out of here right she sees he's crazy yeah and a pencil goes through his hand oh shit yeah because she tries to stab him and you're eight years old yeah 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 like, oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> no. and now that i've seen it there's like the whole time you know I've, i had seen it a few times after that but like getting older you know it's like they're doing coke the whole time <laughs> yeah. literally it's what kills the aliens yeah is that so they go to the local coke dealer to like he's the hero what the fuck yeah it's a cool movie though it's a, the it's four- a what did you say the faculty. The faculty. Yeah, because the whole faculty <laughs> get taken over. Okay. Wow. And then school happens, and it's like fuck. It, it's like a hardcore nineties movie. Yeah, it's Elijah dope. Woods in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I'll have to watch it. Is it on uh, anything specific? Was it no, I haven't it? seen it on shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm it's literally what I'm trying to do, man, is watch old movies of certain people that I've like, kind of always appreciated but kind of lost appreciation for certain movies you know what i'm saying like we might have touched on this last time but i want to watch all the adam sandler movies bro like bulletproof that was one that i didn't watch a lot did you see that one no with him and damon wayans no i didn't see that one and i never watched what's the spanish one he was in spanglish yes yeah might have seen 10 minutes of it on TV. Yeah, it, it was definitely a serious role. And it, it was not a very, I don't know, just in my opinion, it wasn't a very well-written movie. It was kind of confusing. Like, just, I don't know, maybe I I haven't watched that one yet, so maybe I'll just fucking watch it again and I have a whole new appreciation I think, I think for it. it's just like he falls in love with his maid. Is that what it is? Like his marriage is failing, I want to say. Yeah, I think, I, I love, uh, what's another one? Is and his maid, Selma Hayek. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, what, why? It's either Salma Hayek or Penelope Cruz. I always get those oh, two yeah. fucked up. They do look similar. Yeah. Um, he Was he in another movie with her? Probably. I want to, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you in your mindset. Where I, can, <coughs> I can see it, but I can't yeah. fucking. It was either him or. Name it. I don't know. Fuck it. But um, Anger Management. Great movie. I'm That's so another, happy. It's another I'm underrated. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm so... Oh, so witty. And pretty and gay. And gay. <laughs> oh, my God. Jack Nicholson. He stopped New- all of New York traffic. Not all of, but on that whole bridge. Just to sing that damn song. Yeah, but it made him happy, bro. But it was all a ruse. He was in the moment. He was just That's a normal. He that was the whole fair. lesson in that whole movie was to be in the moment, live in the, live in the now, live in the meow. Life is life, baby. Say la vie. Doses and mimosas. Cine me too. Oh, oh. 
I was just I thought we were just saying Latin shit. Sorry. I don't know what we were saying. Visa V. Visa V. Uh, 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 ceviche. That's all I got, to be honest. Do you remember that? Do you remember pussy sex? Yeah, yeah. And I say that in the most, you know, non sexual way. It just looked like it. His name looked like it. Puisu. 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 Yeah, he was a cool dude. Sebastian. Mm-hmm. I like his his Facebook stories. Are always great. Yeah, he's a, he's very. I don't know. I feel like all French dudes kind of like the. Got that little white dog. Life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. The other day he had that. Yeah, he was running around with a little white dog. Yeah, he's just kind of like. I don't and know. I'm not trying to be weird. Himself a bath. Yeah, he's just kind of like a pretty dude. You know what I'm saying? He just wears. You know, I think he really with enjoys the makeup. Freaking, you know, Snapchat filters a lot. Or uh, you're right. Yeah, and uh, I think he wears leather pants often. Often. Yeah. He just I, likes the feeling. Yeah, I don't Not know so why. Much the look. He's like he's like Zoolander. Yeah. yeah. Blue steel. Blue steel. Fucking. Blue steel. Puisu is blue steel. Dude. He is a blonde blue blue steel. Figured it out. He's the blonde Zoolander. Figured it out. Sebastian Zoolander. I wish they would. Uh, Listen to our podcast and spread it across the whole entire fucking across the pond over there in Denmark and fucking Luxembourg and Belgium, Belgium, fucking uh, we got homies everywhere, bro. We got homies in the UK, Australia. Australia. Um, where else? We don't have any, but we don't have any homies anywhere else. No. <laughs> No. Nope. It might be about it. Yep. Luxembourg. Oh, um Luxembourg. Yeah. What was that dude's name? Jonathan? Jonathan. Jonathan, you remember him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did that little fucking head dance like in rush hour. And then Davy de Sousa. Uh-huh. That dude was obsessed with the Dougie. Remember? He could dance. Yeah. And remember the fucking dance battle that him and Mills did <laughs> yeah. at the ECP. Do they have a video of it? Yeah, it's on YouTube. And now it's like, I think Mills tried to get it taken down or <laughs> something like that because it wasn't posted with his permission. And I think he saw himself on how he actually danced and didn't like it. Him and his parasite. Oh, yeah. That's kind of personal information. <laughs> hey, man, he, he got it on his own, you know. Uh, Fluition? Well, no, he didn't. You know, it was a lack of intuition, I think is what it was. It was just a bad choice. Really? I'm not going to, you know, I mean, he knows that. <laughs> but, dude, none of us ate that food. Uh-uh. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. But I'm in love with the guy. I hit him up every once in a while to see how he's doing. He's married. He's happy. Yeah, uh, he got hooked up. He did. He got medically retired, I think. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. And that's also personal information that I may or may not know. So, whatever. It's just speculation. There's no facts here. Just in case he listens. <laughs> it's in a court of law. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't. But he's a fucking fellow wingman. I ain't shitting on him. I'm just <laughs> saying. I know. I know we're not. I'm shit. I feel like I'm shitting on him. Well, that's you. Yeah. He had a gross bed, though, too. <laughs> oh man the the no sheets and no pillowcase interesting in Afghanistan way to live yeah I remember when you walked in one time you were just like bro what is this like the, you, I think it was like a question of if somebody was still here or not I kind of thought you just lived by yourself you just had yeah. a lot of shit yeah, yeah. It was uh, it wasn't that. Mills just didn't decide to uh, put sheets on his bed. The I feel like every team has kind of that guy. You gotta wonder if that was a contribution to the parasite. Oh, <laughs> it made a home. It made a. <laughs> it made. It made a made for a better host. Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> <Is> that- <laughs> 
Uneasy feelings. <laughs> oh, bro. Can we go into the first story we have written down? Yeah. I'm down. Oh. <laughs> Indian money. Indian money. It's like, because we were talking about the stimulus checks. Oh, yeah. I haven't gotten my stimmy yet. You will. Fucking Papa Trump hasn't blessed me yet. Dude, with, he's the best president I money. could ever think of. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bush was pretty great. Did he hey, give he you twelve hundred dollars? Um, yeah. I Did mean, he give me twelve hundred dollars? I don't fucking remember that. Um, I, yeah, and what's nice about this, I guess, is that it's not taxed at all as no. income. Like this is not claimed on your taxes for as long as this happens. This is universal income. What if this is like Life. the rest of? Video game for the rest what? of the months of our lives, baby. I'm buying a fucking video game a month. Every month, a video game comes out. What if, out. like, nothing comes I'm, out? Yeah. It's, I'm finding one that I like, that or one that I didn't buy in the past, and mm-hmm. buying that one. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. You could do that. Or a gun. For I'm 60 buy bucks. A gun every you could day. do that for 60 bucks. Not every day, every month. Bullets? A new gun. Go shoot guns every day, buy rounds? A new gun. I want to buy a new gun every month. Are you listening to me? I hear you. New. No. Oh, bro. Uh, I want that Beretta, that PX4. It looked cool. And it's the same fucking functionality and characteristics of the, of the fucking FS, the 92 FS M9, mm-hmm. that pretty much everyone qualified for from up until fucking, what, a year ago? Until they switched the to the, what are they shooting now? SIG? Did they even do that? I heard, I thought yeah. that was just talk. No, they switched. Yeah. Just the Army or everyone? I thought the Air Force was phasing it at, uh, the M9 out. I'm pretty sure Jeremy still arms up with the Beretta. Does he? I'm going to ask He never him. talked about getting a new handgun. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like that might... Maybe not, though. But I don't I feel know. Like we'll talk to him about it. I'm not sure. That's a good fun factoid. If you're listening to this and you are active duty... Comment on the whatever platform you're on and let us know. Um, uh, Indian money. We were talking about the stimulus checks, and you said you have a funny story from back home. That's not really a funny story. We were just talking about how how the check. You know, you asked me if I had got that check, but we were saying if it becomes just a thing, you know, just a monthly thing, and for how long. But that's because that's how, like, a little kid me wanted that's how i i'm living now how little kid me wanted to live back in the fucking 90s early 2000s you know what i'm saying yeah and so i lo- i grew up next to an indian reservation that was like 10 minutes from my house and that was always the talk is those kids a lot of tps <clears throat> a lot of tps oh yeah dude we'd go to they'd have powwows all the time Are you serious I swear to god they'd that's have powwows so all the time cool. We'd go and eat up at their Meskwaki Casino. What? Fuck yeah, that was back in the day when the buffet was badass. Oh, so yeah. it was like fucking... Fucking lobster legs <clears throat> for $10. Oh, dude, all night. Yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, bro. We'd get done with wrestling meets, uh, fucking get home at 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. Everyone rolls over feast. there. Yeah. And we dude, just bullshit for you hours. You know what that sounds like? Teppanyaki in San Antonio. Did you ever go there? No. Bro, but next time, anytime we go to fucking San Antonio, San Antonio again. Yeah. What's, what was it? It was a fucking Japanese fucking uh, buffet. Oh. So it was, it was, it had a sushi bar. It had fucking fish, Chinese food, like, you know, sweet and sour chicken, rice. And then it had a whole American side. So you get cheeseburgers, corn dogs, macaroni and cheese. Dude, I love buffets. Buffets are the shit. And it was good food, too. That's yeah. why I, like, I love shit like that, bro. Yeah. We anyway, gotta go hit more buffets. The fucking... If you if you got a certain amount of Native American in you, right, you get money a month. Yeah. Now it's just going to be if you're just American. You get but that's what I'm saying. We would hear that as kids and we would say, that's the fucking life. Yeah. Because all you need to do is get Xbox and play video games. Like, that's all we wanted to do is play Halo. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. Now I guess that's all I do. Yeah, right now life is what you imagined it to hopefully be as a 10-year-old. And they're telling me to do it. 
Yeah, it's like required. Yeah. Like you're breaking the law if you're not doing it. Us hanging out right now ain't cool. R- right, we're technically breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Brown, brown. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Good tune. Yeah, good song. Solid. Solid. Um. So that was that was your story, dude. That's how this. I that's was how funny. I wanted to live. I thought it was funny. Never really said it was funny. Yeah, but I assumed. Mm-mm. Ooh, dude, there's a Tesla pulling up. The what color is it? Gray. Like the kind of blue like, gray. Yeah, blue. Like the kind of normal Almost. Tesla color. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah, I guess standard Tesla color. Standard. I I really standard. do like the new Tesla though. The new new Tesla. The Model Three, I think. Mm hmm. They're cool. Yeah, they got the big ass fucking skylight in it, or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna call it a skylight. Another burp. Sorry. Um, How you feeling? I feel great. Feel good. Yeah. Feel about no, those? Not yet. No, I don't. I'm still stoned. I don't want to go off the deep end and fucking be with the fishies. Oh, you're trying to go deep on that? Yeah, later. Yeah, when I'm, you know, in I'm editing down. mode. You know? Oh. Because <laughs> I got to put this bitch up by 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And I still got to go and teach my little stepbrother. Or not stepbrother. Brother-in-law. My little brother-in-law. Sorry, weird. Um, Yeah, my little brother-in-law. Some more chords on the ukulele. There you go. I'm teaching Dalton how to play the ukulele. Sweet. He's liking it, man. Never, he's never picked up any instrument, never was taught anything about music except for like, you know, little licks on the piano because his mom knows how to play the piano. Mm-hmm. But him just figuring out like rhythm, like the first time we played together, because I, I didn't teach him anything about the like neck or frets or anything. I just told him to hold the, hold the strings and kind of palm mute, right? And I was just working on strum pattern strum patterns with him and getting the whole feeling of, you know, flicking the strings down and, you know, plucking them back forward so you can pluck all four of them, and, you know, when you're going down and up. And, dude, it fucking clicked, and he was just, like, like looking at the fucking ukulele, and he was like, this is so cool. Yeah. It's so cool that you can just, ma- I can make any song with this. The and feeling like, it gives me. Yeah, he's like, I just, I, my brain, I just, I... I feel it. And he's like, I was like, dude, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. And he just didn't understand that. Just for me to like give that to him was just, I don't know, it was really rewarding, bro. Because he's like 14. Yeah. And it's like, bro, I, I had that shit when I was five. Like I was singing fucking Elvis songs and dancing and shit. <laughs> like I was a little fucking ham, bro. And I just, I think that's so funny that it just, it comes at different times for people. I think it's great because that kid may end up being a fucking, you know, trying out for a fucking show someday and becoming somebody, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, that's the only way to become somebody, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's cool. I think music is great, especially right now. People need it more than ever. Most definitely. Can we agree with you? Yeah. But I'm really fucking excited for all this shit to be over though, bro. For real. I want to go to... I want to go to fucking Abby's Irish Pub and get a fucking Scotch egg fresh. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to go back to a bar. Yeah, I want to get a fucking Guinness and two fucking shots of Jameson, and I want to watch a fucking hockey game. Yes. Yes. Or a fucking UFC fight. I want the summer. I'm really fucking sour that the fucking NHL got chopped in fucking half. Everything's canceled. I know, but the Avs were really good. (laughs) Like, they were really good this season. Sports are never coming back. I've... I've come to that conclusion. Yeah. I think we should start watching like uh, uh, cornhole tournaments and like badminton. Like ESPN The Ocho is going to be like the new mainstream sports. <laughs> I think that would be so great. Like horseshoes and bocce ball. Yeah. It's like, it's like barbecue sports. It's like barbecue sports network. Bro, that's so funny. BBQS. BBQS. BBQSN. Dude, that's a that fucking flows. idea, bro. That BBQSN. Flows. There, there it dude. is. And we and we host like you and I just sit at a fucking park, just like fucking sportscasters, and we f- do it like fucking wipe out. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the dudes just fucking talking, and we like have somebody in the field 
with the camera. Yeah. That would be so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> and dudes are getting trashed. We we just buy, you know, we get sponsored by like fucking Natty Light or something. There's a huge, there's a mandatory pregame. Or we find like a fucking local brewery to sponsor us. <clears throat> and there's just fucking kegs of beer. And if you're participating in the fucking event, you get fucking beer in your cup all day. Sounds great. That's a fucking plan, bro. We're going to... When when coronavirus is over, the heirs of the dog are gonna try to do an event like that. Fucking, <laughs> I'm I'm in fucking writing that shit down. You know me, bro. I'm. You write things down. I do. I write shit down. Um, notes. I I elevator pitched the fucking Sunnyside Oaks TV show. Remember me telling you about that? The yeah. Apartment complex shit. They weren't into it. I guess I don't know. Maybe I'm just too much sometimes for people. Fuck them. No. No. <laughs> they're, they're my new employees and uh, fellow co-workers. They're not my employees. That was weird. Yeah. No work for me. I work with them. Technically, I work for one of them. Yeah. And I can actually say that now. I work at the New View in Colorado Springs. So if you're a medical patient, come through and say what's up and I'll give you a free sticker. Free stick? Free sticker. Yeah, that's a, I can do that. I got permission. So you can give sticks. I can give out stickers from the heirs of the dog. So I'm gonna bring a good old, you know, stacky stack of them tomorrow, and uh, hand out to anybody that listens to this podcast throughout the day tomorrow and comes through to the uh, the Colorado Springs location as a medical patient. Medical only in the Colorado Springs location, though. So don't be thinking you can come up there without no red card. Is red? I, that's what it's called. Oh, I don't know what it. Rec, uh, I don't know what it's what it means. I don't know if it's an acronym. And the card isn't even red. It's not even a card. It's just it's a fucking printed out piece of paper. Lame. Yeah, and it doesn't even fit in your wallet. It has to be on an eight eight and a half by eleven. Lame. Yeah, super lame. Can you fold it? Yeah, it can be folded. Can just I frame it? You can't laminate it. You can put it in a plastic sleeve, a sleevey sleeve. Wooden frame? Yeah, I would do that. That's preferred for me. If you brought it in with a wooden frame every time, I would laugh my fucking ass off. Honestly, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Just keep it in your truck. Yeah, and put it in the back window. Like center frame console. It. Like just center console. Bring it in. Yeah. 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 And it's framed? Yeah. Like on a nice a little wooden, wooden, wooden frame. frame? Yeah. I'm doing that. Because I told you I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to try some different uh, medical strains that I haven't tried it from Nuvio. And then I was told by my fellow coworkers. Whole new world. Yeah, bro. Once you get your medical card, you can sign your plants over to different places. And the first and fifth of every month, or I think, I don't know, each dispensary has different deals. But you get like freaking one $10 fucking uh, quarter uh, every week, you know what I'm saying? Some stupid deal like that for signing oh, plants over to. Oh, dude, yeah, you get cheap, cheap weed. Yes, yes, and higher percentages and like edibles, Bro. a thousand milligrams. Like, yes, change your life. Yes, we're gonna be getting into a whole new world, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipation breath. <laughs> hyperventilation. Baited. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, dude, that fucking story that I have written down right here, Army Ace. <laughs> so I uh, recently started another job, and we're uh, doing orientation. And it's kind of, you know, if you're military, you know the phrase death by PowerPoint. It's a, you know, HR shit, sexual harassment, suicide prevention, you know. Don't do it. Yeah, don't uh, tell freaking Deborah she's got a nice rack. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. not okay. Uh-huh. So, anyways, at the beginning of the whole thing, we got to go through and introduce ourselves, right? Well, I introduced myself, and I don't think anything of it until later on. But when I introduced myself, I'm, you know, saying... You know, I'm Johnny, whatever, my hobbies, doing my podcast, you know, my favorite food is fucking, you know, pub food and bar food or whatever. And, um, 
I, before this, I worked for my father-in-law and, you know, was in the military. Yada, yada, done. You know, didn't fucking, it was just very nonchalant. And the last dude to fucking introduce himself. I don't even remember his name, honestly. And I wouldn't say it anyways, but, um, he's doing, you know, saying the same thing. And then he gets to his fucking previous employer. He's like, like, I'm across the room. Like, it's a good size classroom style fucking, you know, place that we're sitting in. And the fucking tables are, you know, I'm probably 50 feet. I'll probably say 25 feet away from the motherfucker. And he, like, fucking threads the needle with his eyes between people and fucking looks straight into my fucking soul. And says, I'm in the army. Still in the army. (laughs) And then he says, I can't get out. And then everyone kind of laughs and him and I are still looking at each other. And I just go, (laughs) and that's it. (laughs) And it was just really like fucking most awkward fucking interaction because it was just, I don't know. It's like he wanted me and it was a like form of fucking marking his territory or something. Like he's, he's still in or. Yeah. That's like a, it's like a cool thing. Yeah. It's like, okay, I guess. But then I was like, you're know. jealous. I'm a nice guy. I was not going to be a dick to him or anything because I'm going to have to work with the guy, you know? Sure. So he comes over. He's like, hey, what was your job in the Air Force? And I was like, God's oh, a cop. He was like, oh, MP. So I was like, you know, instantly. I was like, hey, what's up? What's up, bro? You know, so it was not like I didn't make it awkward or anything. But I don't know. I just thought it was really funny that he had to fucking like almost like it wasn't even like a trying to be intimidating. It was just like. It was fucking weird, bro. It was fucking weird. He was just like, he was just like, I'm in the army. (laughs) And it was exactly like that, bro. It was fucking just strange as fuck. But anyway. Wow. That is very weird. Probably a silly story. Nobody else probably laughed at that. It's kind of maybe a, you had to be there kind of thing, but whatever. I thought it was hilarious. Um, we got this, uh, 99.8% 99.8% THC. What is uh, the strain of it? Doobie Bird. Doobie Bird. Um, push your mic in. How's that? Way better. Doobie Bird, dude. Yeah. Great name. Great strand. Heavy great. sativa. Yeah. It's fun Super stuff. Super high. Yeah. Yeah, it really is a super head eye. <laughs> crystally, crystally. You wanna you wanna pause and do a bunch of it? Um and then start it back we up. We almost no, we um, we're almost done. We literally oh, have okay. like five minutes left until we're, you know, finito here. So Fucking sweet. you wanna on end cap. touch on uh any more subject matters for the you know, the remainder of our um Man, random I've... escapades for episode seventeen of the Ears of the Dog? What do you got for uh let's let's, summer, let's do man. this man. I mean what what are your uh you know closing music recommendations right now? What are you uh what are you shouting out cuz I think I got a few that people should listen to cuz you know I feel like people are listening to a lot of music right now. And people listen to music all the time as it is. So fuck it. We like music. Let's fucking recommend some shit that we've been listening to. Yeah, just kind of like what I always listen to. Kind of yeah, go-tos? like, well, I don't know, what would you, like, if somebody was like, hey, Dylan, what's the yeah. music that you're listening to right now? Oh, okay, yeah, right now, I've been listening to a lot of, and this is new, I don't listen to a lot of them, just kind of found them out, they're called the Delta Saints. You yeah, them? you haven't even tried <clears throat> them, so. They're cool, but I mean, always, I, I listen to a lot of Black Keys, mm. Queen of the Stone Age. Queens. We were just watching uh, Eagles Monkey. of Death Metal. Iron Eagles Monkey. of Death Metal. Yep. Um, Arctic Monkeys. I said Iron Monkeys. Iron Monkeys. Iron Monkeys is a cool band name too. But gearing up for summer, so now it's a lot of EDM. EDM. Yeah, getting ready for the you know fucking ready. Raging, Cajun, party time. I feel like Fuck there's it. gonna be yeah, a lot of there's gonna be yeah there's gonna be a lot of fucking cookouts after this uh, coronavirus is done. A lot if of it is done. A lot of cookouts. We might be winter next year before it's done. And I'm glad that I know the distinction between the two now. Yeah. You taught me that. I did. Texan motherfuckers taught me that. Mm. 
There's a difference. There is. And now I know. And I'm going to appreciate it. You'll never not know. Well, I think it's a good fact to know. Yeah. There is a difference, I feel. Um, Are you going to ask me what my music recommendations are? What would you say your music recommendations are? Thanks for asking, bro. Um, Well, I... Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, the little uh, Empire of the Sun golden nugget of you know gifting during this strange and terrible time that us humans are going through. Um, Wiz Khalifa decided to uh, drop a 420 album for us people, and I have uh, thoroughly been appreciating it since then. Been listening to that on repeat, and. Uh, I watch Space Jam a lot since it's been on Netflix, so I've been really listening to the Netflix. soundtrack of Space Fly Jam. Fly like an eagle? Bro, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say it, but I'm going to say it. So they're, they're good songs. Okay. Terrible oh, yeah. dude. <laughs> good music. Great dude. Bump and Grind, I can't listen to it the same anymore. Right. Because you know what it's about, and it's kind of weird. It's but strange. overall, the second thing I think of when I listen to it now is American Pie. And that's a good thing. I mean, yeah. I think it reminds me of my childhood. I love American Pie. It's a good song. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of good memories with that song. Before we discovered that he was the way he was, right? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like how people are kind of tossed up between Michael Jackson. Some people are really love him still, and some people are like, like they don't like him anymore because of the allegations, or like a lot of people that got canceled throughout the fucking past couple of years. <laughs> Dude, you said, have you been watching, you said 420, uh, Netflix, Midnight Gospel. What? Yeah, dude. Really good. It's fucking awesome. Okay. You got to send this shit to me, bro. I got a, uh, a couple of recommendations for TV shows, uh, Love, Sex, and Robots. Oh, yeah, that came out a bit ago. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen it at all, so I'm going to watch those. Because uh, somebody told me they're like five to seven minutes long. And they're cool. I've watched a few, like I, well, I watched a few of them, but I'm pretty sure I fell asleep through like, like you know, Netflix keeps playing stuff. Yeah. You know, and so I'm like, I kind of remember that, but like I remember watching the first one where the they're in control of their freaking beasts, whatever, and mm. it's kind of like real steel. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. It's cooler than real steel. But it's they all change. Gory. They're yeah. all different. Yeah, it's like a different creature. It's like you're like Well, no, every episode animal. is a different everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very much like Black Mirror. Yeah. Yeah, in that way. I heard American Horror Story is really good, too. Have you seen it's any right. of those? No, I decided not to. Yeah, me too. It always just seemed kind of we- too weird for me. Same. Yeah, I just never, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a while here and watch a fucking episode. Because I heard each season is different. Yeah. It's a different story each season, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You can keep it, I think. I think whoever you... you There's a lot to watch. It. Yeah. There's a lot, yeah. Uh, I'm re-watching uh, Peaky Blinders. I still need to watch all of Peaky Blinders. Dude. I feel like a terrible... I'm excuse. so excited to rewatch that shit. Really? I can't tell you. Yeah. yeah. So I, need, I still need to finish watching the first it's uh, so good. half of season four of Rick and Morty. Yeah. Yeah. New May, uh, yeah, May 3rd. Yeah, May 3rd. It's my sister's oh. birthday. Happy birthday, Jacqueline, if you're listening. She's not, but it's She's okay. Not. I still love you. Um, yeah, May 3rd, Rick and Morty. Um, when's that uh, other show come out? What are you talking about? The other, what's his name? The other creator of Rick and Morty. Oh, I'm not sure. Justin Roiland? Yeah, I'm Justin sure. Roiland. I'm not Jesus. sure. What's the name of that show again? It's about aliens, I know. Yeah. That. It's a terrible name of a show. Or it's like, I can't remember Hulu? it. Hulu? Yeah. I have no idea when it comes out. Justin Roiland, new show? Solar Opposites. Solar Opposites. Yeah, it's about aliens. Solar Opposites. I guess that makes sense. Like Polar Opposites, but, but it's solar. space. Solar Oh, I get it. Is that a good stretch? Yeah. Pat my back a little bit. Oh, I found it. I heard it. Yeah. It was through my mouth. Well, well, it was through your mouth. Yeah, you can hear my spine crack through my mouth. 
Is that stone? <laughs> is that normal? Oh, it's only because you're stoned. Oh. I thought you had like gone to an accident or yeah, something. Yeah, like I can change the tone of it based on how open or closed my mouth Coke. is. is yeah, that... you can. <laughs> you can. Yeah. Wow. In your head, you can change the tone. It's like music. Wow. You can try it sometime, bro. Sometime. You I... don't. You don't actively pop your joints though, and that's probably good. No, I do. Oh, you do? Definitely. Yeah, me too. It feels good. It feels so good. Eh, ain't shit wrong with it. Yeah, I guess not. I guess it's not really that bad overall as long as you're continued to be active and stretch. There was a dude who only did it to his left hand. He was a doctor. Only did it to his left hand for like years, decades, I want to say. Just to see if to do run tests and there wasn't shit different. Like just popping his knuckles. Just his left hand. No difference. For like thirty years. And then runs tests. Huh. Like dexterity tests, all that shit. Because they always say it gives you arthritis. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. It's just releasing the freaking water. Yeah, it's like uh what is it? Could be totally. There's like a medical term for it though. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's like a gas though. It's a combustion of some sort. Gas. Or I'm an idiot. Yeah, we could both be very dumb. No. Which is also you're 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 on the right track. That's why. What escapes your knuckle when it cracks? Yeah, baby, I'm smart. Google doctorate. Cracking a joint stretches. Fluid. Yeah. Gas is rapidly released, which forms bubbles. Boom. So it's a bubble. Yeah. Some gas can't be fluid. I know. But it says gases. I know. Escaping gases. Synovial fluid, that's what it's called. There you go. Scientific name. Science, bitch. Synovial. Synovial fluid. Remember that for your next science test. Synovial. Yeah, that's what I said. Doctors. Yeah? (laughs) I want to be a doctor, just not yet, you know? When? Like when I'm 40. If not now, when? When I'm like 40 something. Yeah. So you're going to start like in your 30s to go to school? Nobody likes young doctors. No. You might as well start like enjoy your 30s, you know. Be Nobody a, trusts young doctors. Yeah, be like a little uh, into the wild, you know, super tramp, just a traveler, just wander. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I was watching, uh, speaking of wanderer, have you seen that uh, Fastest Car show on Netflix? No. It's like where the guys have like their own... Like homemade street car, like a street racing drag car, and they all race against one supercar on the drag strip, and the one that wins goes to the fucking finals. Well, there's this one fucking race, and this guy's got a fucking Toyota truck, and he literally just bums off of people to help them, uh, to help him fix his truck, and his, he just has this fucking sob story for people. Yeah. And I guess what he gives in return to them is he lets them sign his truck. They just sign it? Yeah, they sign it. Huh. Yeah, and he's, like, getting... This This is a fast... Like, this truck is in the fucking show. Like, it's got to have some sort of fucking, you know... Performance. Yeah, yeah. some fucking ass in, behind it. But, yeah, huh. I thought it was fucking weird that this dude's, like, acting like he's doing something, you know, courageous or fucking different. Like, no, you're literally just mooching off of people <laughs> so that you can tell them, yeah, you can sign my car. Just like, sign it. Yeah, no, I'm going to need some fucking money, you asshole. That's yeah, really funny. I just thought it was fucking stupid. <laughs> he, they tried to make it out to be like he was being a nice dude, but it's like, no. He's like, this, is the re- this, is, this truck is a representation of the American people. Like, no, it's not. The hardworking, yeah, like, blue collar. Yeah, like, bro, you didn't pay for shit. This is, wow. you're, worse than, you're worse than the guy that got his car bought by his daddy. 
Yeah. That's worse than that. You're one step lower than that. That's really funny. Yeah. And he wore a cowboy hat too. And he and he was he was not a cowboy. No. Yeah. He had a feather in it. I think anybody that has a feather in their hat. And if it's not off of a bird that you didn't kill yourself, should probably go and kill themselves. Who's the who's the real famous guy who did that? Put his feather in his Don Cerrone? No. John he, Wayne? He called it macaroni. Oh. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. Yeah. That's his damn name. I could not think of it. It's all right. We had to sing it a few times in our heads. Yeah, he, he was the famous, he famous guy. He did that. Who did what? Put a feather in his cap. Oh. Yeah. Cowboy Cerrone did it too, though. I didn't make a song about him. We should make a song about him, too. <laughs> Cowboy Cerrone put up. Fucking feather in his hat. Then he went to Justin Gagey. Then he got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Doesn't really flow as much as no. But I tried. That was straight from the dome, baby. I'm surprised you finished it. <sighs> Are you? Are you? No. 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 Where's that sweatshirt from, bro? I've had this for a very long time. It says. Tigers Marceline. Is that how you say it? Uh, you wouldn't know because you probably stole it. I think it's from a goodwill. Marceline. Why are you, why'd you smirk like that? I didn't steal you're it. Like, like, Marce- you're like you're trying to hide it. Like, no. Like you I just got like I just bamboozled you. I'll be bamboozled. Gadzooks. You caught me red handed. <laughs> My haberdash. Oh, right. no. Please, sir. Don't. Please, sir. Uh, Please, please don't, please don't let me hang. <laughs> I've had this since like I was in high school, probably maybe before, probably before. Uh, what was that movie with? Uh, sorry, fucking James Franco, where he's like uh, first time, <laughs> where he's getting hanged. Oh, yeah. oh. I don't know the movie. End of the meme. Yes, but it was that uh, fucking series that you had me watch uh, of all of those. Uh, at Franco? Yeah. did not it? Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't remember him ever being in a series. He was in that TV series. It was just like little fucking mini movies on Netflix. It was... Remember the dude searching for gold? He was digging the different holes and shit. You're talking about holes. No, bro. I'm going to show, I'm going to, you're going to know exactly what the it. fuck. Yes, you did. Cause you're the one that told me to watch it. And I watched the whole series and, and it's, it was like that different Not stories. Every remember. episode, it was a different story. Every episode. And one of the episodes was an old fucking gold miner. And he was fucking found this fucking area and he started digging holes, trying to find the spot where he could fucking, you know, start mining and he couldn't find any. And then he eventually found it and fucking, you don't know, you don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, no, not at all. All right. Whatever. Not in the slightest. Well, fuck it then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who cares? I want to watch it though. Sounds good. We're going to ask Google one more time. Gold mining episode Netflix miniseries. <laughs> if that works. Who knows? What do you got? Hold on. Yankee fucking doodle, dude. Yeah, it's not even, not even close. Not even a thing. It is. Stop. <laughs> I'm not lying. Well, here we are. Holy Once again. good movie. Yeah, Stanley Yelnats. Stanley Yelnats. Yeah. Dig out, oh, oh, dig out. Dig it out, oh, oh, dig it, dig it out. <laughs> I still remember when that old man yells at that little girl. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Like, my back hurts or something. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, dude. When they find the fucking peaches? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're trying to, he's digging in that lake. They, was uh, it peaches or onions? Well, he find. It was onions. Yeah, I think it was. It's the onions that you eat that keeps you from being able to be bit by the lizards. 
Yeah, they don't like your smell or whatever. Yeah, they don't like the smell of the onions. Of coming through your skin. Yeah. But uh, uh, weren't they weren't they kind of peachy? I want to I want to say. I feel like yeah, they were talking. They they were sweet. They tasted like an apple or like a peach. Yeah. I think that had something to do with peaches. Like no, the said. girl used to make peach preserves. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She used to make peach preserves. Right. <laughs> That's such a good movie, bro. I remember uh, reading the book. Of Is Holes. it on Disney Plus? Holes? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch Holes tonight, bro. Definitely happening. I, I love Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. <laughs> I, I told you that that's my uh, alarm clock. <laughs> oh, no morning. shit. <laughs> I remember busy. I woke up from, uh, I, we, I woke up in Austin one morning uh, and uh, on Facebook, it was him getting arrested in Austin that night. Oh, I was like, we were just at Dublin's. Yeah. It was fucking dude. weird. I, th- I thought he was so funny on Hot Ones. Did you watch that episode? Yeah, yeah. That's like one of the I've Prime, been watching that more movie. Of those. He, have you watched that movie with him on Prime about um, his life, his him being a childhood actor? Honey, I think it's called. Oh, yes, he's in it. Yeah, yeah. he's his dad. Yeah, yeah. He plays his dad. Yeah, it's really good. I didn't watch all of it. It's really good. I watched it too. He no, I didn't. It. I didn't watch all. Of it. Oh, you watched some of it? Yeah, maybe fifteen minutes. All right. Well, that's another movie. Re- uh, you know, recommendation if you want to watch it. We don't know the name of it. I'm going to watch Holes. It's called Honey, right? Yeah. Yeah. There it is. It's called Honey. Once again, thank you, uh, New View Pharma and RTF Extracts for uh, your continued support and love. What did I say? RTF Extracts. RTF Extracts. Mm-hmm. RTF, uh, no. Thank you, New View Pharma, RM Extracts, mm. and RTF Sports Network. Perfect. Um, yeah, it's a lot of R's to remember. And it is. acronyms. And... Here's the dog. We love you. We uh, appreciate you. And uh, if you want to help support us, uh, we have a Patreon on our uh, link tree, which is uh, on all of our social media platforms from Instagram to Twitter to Facebook. So hit us up on any of the above. Um, Yeah. Good times. Stay healthy. Stay happy. And fucking be merry. And cheers. Slancha. We out. Catch you later.